Morning guys, this is Sandra and Andy from SA Survival and we're heading to the Lynn Headwaters. This is the main road into it. Uh, it's a BC park and uh, we're going to do a loop today. So today we're heading off to uh, Lynn Canyon over the river, do a loop over towards uh, Rice Lake and then come back up this lower road uh, back to the vehicle. It's only a short day hike and what are we carrying? Just uh, camelbacks, a few survival gear uh, accessories and that is it. So it's a beautiful sunny day today, no clouds in the sky. I reckon it's around about one to two degrees Celsius and every man and his dog is out including us. As you can see we brought Bella with us as well. This road is a little bit busy for the first 750 meters Got a hike in, it's full of car parks, and as you can see now, the road's quite uh, thin, so you just gotta take our time, single track. Shouldn't be too wet. Uh, we've had, you know, minus two in the evenings for the last four or five days, so the ground is quite hard. Uh, we're just wearing our gaiters, hiking boots, um, camelbacks. When I said a little bit of survival gear, what I mean is, uh, you know, a plastic bivy bag, a knife, matches, uh, fire starting, a little bit of food, and that's it. This hike should be about an hour and a half, uh, fairly flat, and that is really it. So we'll te talk to you in a little bit when we get to the river. So as we're walking down this uh, road, you can see this little creek drainage ditch on the left-hand side. This is quite popular with people filling up their water bottles with fresh water, fresh from the spring. And uh, we're just gonna get to this one section here. It's normally jammed. I'm quite surprised today that uh, there's nobody here. And we'll see what they're, what they're filling up. And there it is. The spring that comes off the mountain. People fill it all up. There is a warning right there. So, Again, filtration would be a necessary uh, test for this. But normally a lot of people here and nobody here today. So just to give you an idea where we're going today, we started off where this bus is, we're just doing a quick loop. We're gonna head up to uh, well, we're right in this section here where you can see the dog sign. From there, we're gonna take this 0.9K uh, to Rice Lake. We may go around it. I, I have a feeling we can't take dogs around there, but if not, we're just gonna head back up to here. Short hike today. Uh, Grouse Mountain up and over here. And uh, you can, if, to put it in perspective, this is sort of the Lim Valley area going up to Grouse Mountain. If, if the map was expanded and we were over here, that was where we were the other week. And we did the Seymour Mountain Trail. All right. Um, as you can see, it's a regional park. I said it was a BC park, I was wrong. Uh, beautiful little area. You can get right up into the back country out here. It's something I'd like to do, I haven't got there yet. As you can see right up there in the distance, the Lynn Headwaters itself. And then we have this trail here, beautiful river. We'll go down and have a look at it. Um, it was originally Originally used for uh, logging and the, the creek or Lynn Canyon and the creek here Did ferry logs around or they made these flues that you can uh, Actually send some of the logs down. It was a an old logging area because obviously the North Shore Mountains Were the life of the, the timber industry for Vancouver itself Glacier water. I mean look at this beautiful little area Literally a uh, seven minute drive from our house in North Vancouver. And there's Sandra getting herself ready for the hike. I say a hike, more of a ramble this morning. Bella, go, go.
could very well have been a salmon counting uh, ladder as well at one stage. One thing that they do up here as well is we talk about safety and uh, survival with SA survival and stuff. Hikers register here, this is where you uh, put your tag in. Let them know what time you're coming back down just in case. And if your car's left in the car park, they will actually come and hunt you down if you don't make your timings. So nothing special about this hike, it's just Sandra and I just wanted to get out for a couple of hours. It uh, was about a 2k hike, if that, maybe two and a half actually, thinking about it. Um, it's not off the beaten track, it's not very often uh, we go on these sort of tracks. Uh, we like to get out and about, be quiet and be on our own, literally. But uh, this is just a short hop, get out in this lovely crisp fall air before we get into monsoon season again. from SA Survival. Hope everyone's having a great day on a wonderful sunny day on Sunday. So anyways, take care and we'll chat soon. Bye for now. As I thought, uh, no dogs allowed on the Rice Lake Loop. So we're gonna alter our trail a little bit and uh, head around Rice Lake and head back to the canyon. So we we'll come out at the uh, beginning of the Rice Lake Loop at the Seymour Demonstration Forest uh, car park. The leash on area, so we have to put Bella back on the leash now, unfortunately. We're going to take a few paces here, get out of this uh, area, and we'll get back in the forest shortly. And we're going to extend our trip now, we're going down to the Link Canyon Suspension Bridge and then make a slightly longer loop. So we're coming into the fork in the road where we were going to go. We would have gone down to the right back up to the car but as we've only been out for like 45 minutes we decided to carry on. So footbridge to the Lynn Valley Road and bus stop that's where we were going. We're now going to the Link Canyon Suspension Bridge and we're going to follow another trail. Do a loop over the bridge, show you a few sights over there and then uh, turn right and come back up the other side of the Lynn Creek.
So we're heading down there, I don't know if you can see through the trees, the nice green water. It's the uh, summer hot spot for all the cliff divers and jumpers. So we're just going to head down these stairs and we're going to check it out. It's a bit cold for cliff diving today, but you just never know. Oh, and there's Sandra. And that's where they cliff jump, right at the back of that canyon there. You can see by the color of the water, it's deep. A nice cliff right in the underwater here.
and we are Sam and Andy. Well, thank you very much again for that hike. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you do like these, please subscribe to us at The SA Survival uh, on YouTube. And also, if you want to check out our website, check it out at 